Okay, so this is problem 1.12 out of Griffiths, uh, electrodynamics textbook. Before I go through and do this, please leave a like on the video and subscribe. And if you'd like to suggest a problem, you can do so by messaging me on Twitter at physics helping. Okay, so we have this height, which is a function of x and y. It mentions y is the distance north, x is the distance uh, east. And what we're going to do is, for part A, we want to find... Um, where the top of the hill is, so we have to take the gradient, that is the derivative of h, okay? So, we have 10, that's just out front, 2y, because we're taking the derivative with respect to x, minus 6x, minus 18, the rest are 0, and then we add to that the y component over here. So now when we do this, we get now 2x plus minus 8y plus 28. And this is in our y hat direction. Okay. Uh, and I should mention this 10 is distributed. There we go. To all of that. Okay. Now what we need to do is... Um, set up a system of equations here. So for our first one, we have 2y minus 6x six uh, minus 18. And the top of the hill is going to be where our derivative is equal to 0. That's our maximum. So we set that equal to 0. And likewise, what we have is 2x minus 8y plus 28 equals 0. And what we have here is a system of equations which you can solve for. And when you solve for this, I'm not going to do it in the purpose of time, but if you solve this simple uh, system of equations, two equations, two unknowns, you get x equals negative 2, and you get y equals 3. Okay? So it's 3 miles north and 2 miles west. of that location okay so that's part a part b how high is it well that's easy now that we have this we can simply plug in what we just found and that should be a negative because it's a negative two and when you plug that in you get 720 feet part c says how steep is the slope at a point one mile north and one mile east and in what direction is the slope steepest at that point? Okay. Well, we already know what our gradient of y is. And now what we're going to do is simply plug in 1 for our values. And when you do that, you end up getting 220 in the minus x hat direction, y hat direction. So, if you want to find the magnitude of delta H, right, that'll be just 220 times root 2. So, what you could do is just say that, I'll just do it, the x component, um, x hat squared plus... squared square root is the magnitude here with her and if you plug that in you get uh, 220 root 2 and then the, the directions come from here so we can see this is actually going towards the west and this is going towards the north so it's in the direction of northwest so the directions come from there the magnitude you don't need to really worry about the signs so hopefully that makes sense if it did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will post.